Hi Joseph, right, so, come to Norwich, how are you settling in so far? Oh, it's been good so far, happy to be here, and I'm settling pretty well, I think, you know, being here a couple of days now and everything is going well. And you know a few of the lads you said in an interview earlier this week, uh, obviously Carlo Nash you were at Everton with, have they given you a good welcome? Yeah, they have almost, you know, it is a good atmosphere over here, I think I played with some of the lads, some I knew when I was here in the Premiership and some I've watched playing as well. And so we all know football is um, it's like a tradition, so it's pretty easy for me to settle in, but I think um, hopefully I need, I need some time, a bit, a bit more time, but everything is going pretty well, everyone has been very welcoming. Yeah, you said a few other clubs were in for you around the world, why did you choose Norwich? Oh, I wanted to come back to the Premiership because of... Um, as I said earlier, it's um, probably the best league in the world. I've been here, you know, I know this league very well. And just wanted to challenge myself again as well because of my ambition, what I'm looking at. And also when Norwich came in, you know, I think the manager was able to convince me to come here. So I waited until the last minute to make a decision on where I was going. But when Norwich came in and spoke with the gaffer, it was pretty easy for me to decide. So obviously Chris, you someone you knew when you played for Everton and, and someone you, you've got a good relationship with, I guess. No, not a good relationship because I, I knew him as a manager, you know, when I, when I was at Everton. I think he was Tottenham, Newcastle, and you know, so I knew him as a manager, but we never really had a strong relationship. But speaking to him on the phone, it was pretty easy for me. Now, when you played for Everton, you know, Everton are what we'd call Manchester City's bogey side. It always seems Everton beat him. I think you were involved in, in one back in 2010. So you, you've got the secret to beat Manchester City. Have you been sharing that with Chris Hume? Oh, not really. I think we've been busy training and stuff, and I'm trying to settle in. Um, yeah, Man City, they're a great team. You must um, give them that. But I'm here now. I understand the situation. You know, Norwich needs to stay up the league, and they're a good team. Probably they've been unlucky. So it's always going to be tough, but this is football, so you never know. Yeah, Tim Sherwood, the Tottenham manager, said that they're the best team in the world. Would you agree with that? I'm sure you've seen a few teams over the years. Yeah, probably on their, on their day. You know, but from my experience at Everton, you know, it's not always easy, but you can beat every, anyone on your day, so it depends how you turn up. You know, especially Norwich playing at home, and it's going to be a very difficult game, so hopefully we'll um, be looking for a result. Yeah, you had two appearances for Fenerbahce before their winter break, um, so obviously not, not a lot of games this season, but, but you feel ready to sort of kick the, hit the ground running and start on Saturday if, if required? Yeah, if required. I know the, the, the gaffer hasn't named this team yet, you know, but I've trained pretty well. You know, done pre um, pre season, mini pre season, and, and involved in the three games that we played. I think I'm up and ready, you know, but obviously, I don't know if I'm playing or not, but I might need one or two games. But I'm very experienced as well, so if I'm, if I'm called upon, then I have to use my experience and do my best. Now, you, um, you might well have a partnership with Sebastian Basson, who's obviously a Cameroon international. Is he someone that you played against for, for Nigeria? I'm um, not really against Nigeria, not really um, international football, but while I was in the Premiership, I played against him a couple of times. He's a good player, so I'm happy. You know, I came here, I've met a couple of good players, and um, hopefully we can all work together and um, achieve what we want. Have you seen a lot of Norwich while they've been in Turkey? Obviously, they will get the Premier League football out there. Any thoughts on, on what they've been doing this season? Yeah, I think um, from when I heard they were interested in me, I, you know, I think I, I try to follow them a little bit. Um, they've been unlucky. They play some good football. They've been unlucky, but that's what you get from the Premiership, full of surprises. You can play well and, and lose games, and I think at this point it's about the results. And as far as international goes, you, you obviously play for Nigeria. Have you got one eye on playing games with the World Cup finals in mind that you want to obviously represent Nigeria yet again at the World Cup finals? Yeah, you know, so um, I think it's been a while. I was involved with Nigeria after we became champions of Africa. You know, I've spoken to the to the manager of the national team, so I think um, we are on an equal basis now, so I just have to perform here and then you know, get my place back in the national team. Of course, um, I've been in the national team for so long, captaining the national team is a special feeling for me, and going to the World Cup will be an addition for me, but I'm here now, you know, my priority is Norwich Football Club, hopefully if I do well here, the national team is just going to be an addition. It's a pleasure. Was it a concern joining a team in a relegation scrap? Um, you always look at the situation, but as I said, when the gaffer got me on the phone, it was pretty easy for me. I, I like challenges, you know, extra motivation. I want to go to the World Cup. I want to stay perform at the highest level. So pushing myself and also understanding the situation that Norwich Football Club are in, I think it's extra motivation for me to push me. So I'm excited about it. You know, sometimes you get too comfortable because 
maybe the team you are winning every game and there's no extra motivation. But here I have to do well for myself and I have to make sure that if I'm involved, the team gets out of trouble. And it is an incredible scrap. About 11 teams still could go down, I guess. Yeah, you know, that's the premiership for you. You, if you can can squeeze out two games out of two, I think that takes you right to the top again. You know, but if you lose games, then you come back to the bottom. But anything can happen, and the points are very important, as you said. There are about ten, eleven teams involved, so we take one game at a time and, and see what happens. Really, is it back to uh, baptism? Uh, I can't say the word baptism. There we go. A fire, though, isn't it? Playing Manchester City. <laughs> could not get any easier than that. <laughs> you know, oh, they're a great team. You know, they're a great team and they've proven that, you know, they were champions, I think it was the last year or so. So they have great players. But as I said, this is premiership, it's football, eleven v eleven. We understand the situation that we're in. It's not gonna be easy playing against anyone. But hopefully, you know, if we can put ourselves together as a team, you know, we can surprise people. So come Saturday anything can happen. Joseph, if you had an initiation um, challenge from your teammates or anything like that? Since arriving at Norwich? Uh, no, it's been going pretty well. Everything has been going like, you know, the lads are have fun enough. And, you know, the past few days, three days now, it's been, it's been fun for me. They've been very welcoming. You know, I'm happy with everyone, happy with what I've seen. And then hopefully, I'm sure I'm going to get some, some stakes in the next couple of days. But right now, we just getting to know each other. And, and are you ready to, to start on Saturday if, you, if you're asked to start? Do you feel like you're fit enough and ready to go? Oh, no, I think the Gaffer House has decided. But um, as I said, I'm, I'm experienced, I know the situation. Of, there, there are many times that I've played when I'm not fit. But I think at the moment, I think I'm almost ready to go. So if I'm called upon, obviously, I'll do my best and, and make sure I get the job done. And would, would you happy to play right back or centre back? I don't know. You know, I came here to help this team. I understand the situation. So, you know, it's been a long time I played right back. So. But I can always do a job. I can always, if I'm called upon to do a job, I can always do a job. But, you know, I think I prefer playing in my position, you know, because um, this is where I'm very experienced. But this is football. I'm here to help because so if I'm called upon, I think I'll be ready to go. And which players in particular have impressed you in, in training in the last few days? I think most players players have, but I think um, Nathan. I didn't I didn't know how how good he was until I saw him. You know, he's he's that that big, and you know, when he gets on the ball, he can do the tricks and do the magic. I think they have a, a lot of couple couple of good players here. So, but Nate, Nathan, I I trained with him like a couple of few days now. So, he's been very good. I think you know, on his day, he can he can run down anyone. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, what did the manager say when he spoke to you? What did he want you to bring into the club? Basically, my, my experience, and then um, I think probably he must have seen some of the games that I played this season. And I'm sure he, he knows about me while I was in the Premier League, and I don't, I don't think there's any difference from when I left and, and now that I'm here. The only difference is I went to, to another big team in Turkey. To, I swapped the Premier League to play European competition and win trophies, which I've done, and I'm happy about it. So now I'm here, I'm just, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge.